Hello, how are you? Today let's talk about the shape or the right word is morphology of um, the crown you know, the tooth number 14 or number 3 this is the same tooth is just on a different side and this is his natural tooth and this is the crown that I made so this uh, tooth most of the time has five cusps let's first go around uh, this okay this is very exaggerated usually the fifth cusp is small it's not like this big and not so you know <laughs> kicked back uh, sometimes it doesn't have the fifth cusp sometimes it only has four um, it looks more like this you see there is a very small barely seen little separation on the mesial cusp that's what it usually looks like that's a very very exaggerated version of it so what about this tooth uh, the occlusion of this tooth each cusp of course has a corresponding cusp over here right each of them and uh, this this um, large cusp has sometimes two over here one main one and one small one which is most of the time connected with the uh, uh, distal cusp from the buccal side and um, if we turn it this way you would see that it has two bumps one over here and one over here and they are not big the tooth is pretty flat but there are two bumps small bumps and the uh, indent in between you can see the indent very well over here as well you see the indent especially if you put it this way there you go right so that was uh, what i was looking for to mimic in uh, my restoration i don't know if you can see it so yeah two bumps and the uh, indent in between them and uh, this two connected the kicked back fifths um, cusp and uh, of course my uh, anatomy is not as pronounced as this because I frankly speaking didn't have much space especially over here so I couldn't separate this cusp and you know I'm just not that good <laughs> I can't I can't make it look like that as of right now but yeah so those are the key points of uh, the shape okay i hope you liked it then give this video a like and i'll see you very soon bye bye